Hey guys, Eric Sue here. Hope you're doing well. I am going to be doing a special um, Facebook Live with you guys talking about how to stay active during Thanksgiving. Hey guys, before this special episode, I wanted to jump in here to share with you guys a rare opportunity to work with someone who's a leader in the life coaching space for free. Her name is Brooke Castillo. As of November 2018, she is offering live trainings to help you become the superstar you are. I really feel she can be that person who shifts your life towards your goals. I'll put the link for her trainings in the post and be sure to visit before the recorded trainings go offline. Sound cool? All right, now cue the intro. So the big mystery is this. How do average Joes and Janes who did not cheat and hire personal trainers and chefs who want to live fit and healthy, how do we achieve our health and fitness goals and live our healthiest life yet still have plenty of time to enjoy it? That's the million dollar question and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Eric Sue, and welcome to Healthy Living with Eric Sue Radio. Hey guys, before diving into the episode, this episode is sponsored by Goality Raw. It's a members only website where you can sign up for free to get Eric's best trainings. Let me explain to you quickly what you will get once you sign up. So we have Eric's mini book, camp workout manual and video. There's also his core secrets workshop plus a core exercise videos. There's so much in here that you have to check it out yourself. By the way, this member's area will be updated over time so you will always get his latest trainings. So visit www.quality.com forward slash raw and sign up today. You will be glad you did. Um, for many of you guys who are in the US, this week is Thanksgiving. It's uh, Monday as I do this, but um, in the next few days coming up, everyone's going to be um, celebrating Thanksgiving. And this is a time where I find that the um, working out and your daily routine of getting um, your your fitness in it kind of goes to the wayside but you know there's some great ideas that I think um, I have some great ways for you guys that you guys can stay active during Thanksgiving and so I just wanted to share with you some of those ideas now normally um, there's there's like this this idea of um, let's let's just do stuff that um, um, like shopping for example and things like that and that's like walking and and you're going to just you know get your fitness that way and that, that's cool and and I think that that's a great way too um, but it's, it can be expensive if you're shopping but anyhow um, the whole idea here that I want to share with you is some fun ideas that um, you can do uh, during Thanksgiving um, and I've got one really cool one so <clears throat> let me first start off by sharing with you uh, let me get my list here. And if you have any comments or questions about what I'm going to be talking about, then go ahead and just uh, comment below. That's cool. Um, uh, let's, let's just... Okay, cool. So here's uh, I've got five specific ways, and um, so I want to share with you number one right now. Let me just do that. And um, it's called ice skating. Okay, so number one. Okay, and so with ice skating, I'm pretty sure you guys know that uh, it's a great physical activity, cardiovascular activity. It's fun outdoors, obviously, and uh, you get your heart rate up. So ice skating is a really good one that you can do during the holidays. I think there's a lot of places in your area, and I, I'm pretty sure that you guys could find an ice rink or someplace, uh, rent the skates, go out there for an hour or so, have some fun with the family, and it's really cool. Okay. Hey, John. How are you, man? Okay. So that's number one. All right. Number two. Let's say you don't want to do that. You want to stay indoors. So you know your park districts. Are great places to visit as well. I know a lot of places have indoor tracks. You can go and run there. Um, a lot of them have uh, family activities that you can sign up and do as well. And so your part districts are a little uh, fun ways to stay active as well, okay? Okay, cool. Let's just say you don't want to go out and you want to stay indoors. Here's another one. You can do what's called
YouTube workouts. Now, YouTube workouts, um, you know, there's so many different ones, but you can pick one that you like, obviously. And um, they're great just because you're indoors, you're at your home, you just turn on your TV, you pick a YouTube video, a workout, whatever you feel like you're doing. Zumba is great, I know there's stuff out there on there. Um, you just do it and um, have some fun with YouTube. Okay. All right, number four. This is a, um, an interesting one, but uh, hey, you gotta do it. You gotta rake leaves okay now we were out there a few weeks ago raking leaves and um, you take the rakes and you you um, scrape the grass and you get the leaves and you know you could be out there for an hour or so doing this yard work and I think it's a great way to not only clean your yard but also get your workout in and I think it's it's really fun for the kids too to uh, get a pile of leaves jump in them and so forth so I think that's a really great way to get your um, or stay active during the holidays, especially Thanksgiving, right? So, uh, again, recap real quick here before I get to the final one, which is the best one. The, so you can go ice skating, which is great. You can do go to the park district, which is really a great uh, way to get out of the house. Um, you can do workouts at indoors with the YouTube. You got YouTube videos everywhere, right? And then you can do something for the house, and you can rake leaves. All right. So let me get to the last one and the most fun one, I think, and. Um, I think that if on this last one, if you guys actually do this last one, I think this would be the most fun thing you've ever done. All right, and so this last one, it's called, this is number five, it's called Family Fitness Olympics, okay? Now, um, so I was looking into the, some of this stuff and um, the idea that I have behind this one, and obviously it's a family thing, so you get your, your family together, this could be uh, during family, the, the post-holiday uh, or even pre-holiday, depending on when you guys gather, but you guys can set this up. Uh, I've got a scorecard that you can download. Let me pull it up so you can see what I'm looking at here. Uh, the scorecard is going to help you guys out because it's going to give you uh, all the exercises, the instructions. Let me just pull it up here so you can see what it looks like. And um, here you go. <clears throat> and so this Family Fitness Olympics, I think is going to be a fun way. So you can see right here, okay, the scorecard, what it looks like. All right, with all the exercises. So let me list real quick here uh, the exercises that will be on this uh, this scorecard, and so that you can see. I think there's seven. So the first one is squats. Okay, and so yeah, how many can you do in 60 seconds? And um, that's a great one. The next one is push-ups. Okay, uh, another one, how many you can do, okay, in 60 seconds, you want to time it out, okay. Uh, jump rope, okay, what a fun way to get your moving. Uh, the jump rope is a fun activity anyone can do, and um, that is how many in a row you can do, okay. And then you have your planks, okay. So we're testing people's core strength with the planks. Another fun one is balance on one leg. Okay, so how is your balance skills? I think it would be fun to um, test how long you can hold um, holding the one leg stand. Okay, and then crunches. Another core exercise, how many you can do in 60 seconds. I think that would be a fun way we got vertical jump and actually there's one more can't spell the burpee okay so hopefully you can see that now the main thing behind all of these exercises is that you want to 
just be open-minded to them, have some fun with it. Uh, use this scorecard to go ahead and score the results for each person. Um, I've got 10 on here. You can always expand it to another sheet and add more people to it if you have a big crowd. And um, you can decide how you want to crown the um, first place, second place, and third place. Or, um, uh, well, technically, the, I think you could uh, do it in a way where... So the first way would be just go ahead and say, hey, I'm gonna, we're going to crown the person who is... Um, the best in each category you could also do it where overall how many how many categories a person um, uh, wins you can also do it that way um, you can do it any ways to determine who's going to get the um, the bronze the silver and gold right and so I think that um, these are great activities you can play with your friends your your family obviously and so um, Family Fitness Olympics during the holidays. Yes, that's what I'm calling it. So um, just to recap you guys, there are several ways that you could um, stay active during the holidays. Number one was ice skating. Number two was visit the park district. Um, number three was to um, do a YouTube video or workout so that you can just stay at home. And number four, you could do uh, some outdoor chores and rake the leaves, right? And this last one here, I think is the most fun way to stay active during the Thanksgiving specifically, and maybe their holidays, you can do what's called the Family Fitness Olympics. Since we're getting all together, I think it would be a cool way to, um, to have some fun. And I guess you would have to get everyone to buy into it, but anyhow, I think it, it depends on who you are, this is going to be a fun way to, um, to do this uh, activity with the family. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, Facebook Live with me, and I just wanted to share this with you guys. Grab the um, uh, scorecard. There's the link to the in the post, and so go ahead and grab the uh, scorecard so that you guys can uh, keep track. All right, you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy holidays, and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Bam. Hey, thanks for listening to my podcast. Are you overwhelmed and frustrated with your fitness journey? If you are, I get it. There's so much information out there and it can be confusing. It's a terrible feeling and I want to fix it for you right now. Yep, it starts with my educational library containing my best trainings. The best part is that it's free to join. You get my training secrets, special workshops, and cooking recipe books. Valued over $2,000 at this time with ongoing updates in the future, there is no other time to join than now. Visit www.coality.com forward slash raw to sign up today. You'll be glad you did. Hey, remember to subscribe and leave feedback for me. Did you know you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at Eric W. Sue Trainer? I have unique content there and it would be cool to connect with you there. Finally, share or tag this episode with your friends. Sharing is caring. Okay, catch you on the next episode.